My dance company is in danger of shutting down because of a bill that Congress is considering called the PRO Act. My name is Peter Kalivas, and I am the founding artistic and executive director of the PGK Project. PGK Project is a production company I started here in California in 2002, and it's primarily dance-centered. So what I do is I create and produce different shows that feature choreographies by different choreographers of different points of view, different styles, um, that my dancers that I also hire in uh, perform those works. The PRO Act, in a very blanketed kind of way, it's like saying like you cannot be an independent contractor, right? That every company or every every business you you do you provide services for, even as a vendor, that you that you really need to be brought on as an employee of the person who's requiring those services of you, who needs you to help them do what they're doing. So in the case of uh, performing arts companies like dance companies like mine, it's that even that I'm supposed to now bring in dancers. Uh, five and six dancers as employees, meaning that I need to guarantee them year-round payroll, like that I'm gonna pay them for 12 months of the year, and that I'm even gonna provide, provide for them a certain amount of benefits, whether it's health insurance or whether it's workman's compensation and stuff like that. My company wouldn't last really to the, until the end of the month. My name is Jessica Kelly. I'm a freelance dancer and I get contracted for different sorts of gigs. So if the PRO Act passes and I would lose my variety of gigs, uh, it would be absolutely devastating. I don't know what I would do otherwise because I cannot imagine myself working a normal job, like a retail job or at a restaurant. Um, I'm a very creative person, uh, very independent and energetic, and I love working my different jobs, and every day is a little bit different, every month is a little bit different, and that's what makes this life so fun and fulfilling while also paying the bills. Traditionally, dance companies don't have 12 months of work. We just don't. We literally need those dancers for a, a short period of time, whether it's four weeks of period of time, up to six weeks period of time. That includes coming into the space, learning and or helping to create work, and then performing that work in the programming I described, whether it's our inexpensive shows or whether it's uh, out in the community in public libraries or in community centers or parks, right? And then that contract or that obligation to each other is over. If Peter were to shut down because of the PRO Act, it would be absolutely devastating. It's been one of the biggest joys in my life. Not only would all of Peter's dancers lose work, but the community that we serve would lose our services. So the free dance classes, the free shows, or the inexpensive shows that we do all around our county and abroad would be gone, and who would fill that void? Right now, we're doing a residency at a middle school online. I have three teaching artists doing that residency. If I have to convert everyone to employee, those three teaching artists are out of a job, and those kids, they don't get exposure to the arts. We're talking about creative economics. I'm creating jobs. I'm creating jobs all year round for dancers, for choreographers, for teachers, for nonprofit administrators, and for technical production assistants, right? I'm creating jobs. So with the PRO Act, all those jobs absolutely, absolutely go away.